Hey guys, it's Gordon Tarpley, uh, back with another project update. Uh, you can see I've got a little Yoda here, and this belongs to a friend of mine, Michael McMaster, and he lent it to me to see if there was any way that I could do any restoration on it. You can see his ears are a little bit pathetic, and his face is all puffy and weird. Uh, the face is made out of uh, latex skin with some kind of hard foam filler on the inside and I believe it was stored in just an environment that was too hot and the foam slowly expanded and just kind of distorted everything, all the details and it's uh, not pretty. Now because it's such a hard surface I don't think there was any way that I could really save what's there. You can see there's a couple other problems, He's missing a hand. Some little kids broke the hand off and um, you know, the other hand's kind of similar state to the head, feet are there, I guess they're okay. Um, they, everything could use help, but um, anyway, because I don't think I could save the head, I decided I was going to sculpt a new head, so I'll try to get a light. I started another little Yoda sculpt here. Uh, this is made from monster clay, and the measurements are based on the Yoda that's back there, that guy. So I don't know if they're completely accurate because that head is swollen. So I use this to get the basic shapes and then I use photo reference to start the sculpt. This is very early stages, so this is gonna change pretty drastically before I'm done. It should look much more accurate. Uh, one thing about sculpting this that is tricky is that the shots where it's being sculpted by Stuart Freeborn, it looks a bit different than it does in the movie prop. And what I mean is, besides the fact that some of the photos are an earlier version of the sculpt, so there's some, some differences, um, when you see photos where it's right out of the mold and almost a finished sculpt, the shape of the face is a little different. I think that has to do with the fact that the... Um, the prop is a puppet, so when you have a person's hand inside and then it's built around the skull, it distorts the shape a little bit. So I'm, my goal is to sculpt this to look as much like the freshly pulled um, rubber part or the sculpture itself more than how it looks in the movie, which kind of has like a more of a sunken in chin and like a little squished at the bottom. And I'm hoping that once I get the molds done and I make this guy out of rubber, I would like to make it work and function like a puppet. And if I can do that, then hopefully uh, I can get some of those shapes that look like the movie prop without sculpting them into the original clay sculpt. I don't know if that makes sense to everybody. It makes sense to me. Um, hopefully I explained that well enough. Um, but initially I plan on swapping this new head once it's done with that old one. But because that apparently is an elusive concepts uh, prototype, that, which they only made a few of, even though it's distorted, it may be worth some value to somebody. So I think that I may just make an entirely new Yoda because it's basically the head, it's a little bit of the arms and the feet, and then a little kind of torso dummy that I'd have to make, and then the cloth and everything. But I think it'd be a really fun project. Uh, love to have one finished. If it's something that everybody's interested in, leave a comment below and let me know. If there's enough interest, I may make more of them. I'm not going to guarantee anything because it's a lot of work and I don't know if, I don't even know if it's worth it. But if I, like, there's good interest, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. So let me know. Uh, sorry I'm a little, a little slow here. It's uh, almost 3 in the morning. I got to get up at six to fly to new york so uh good times off to bed guys bye